along with what's exciting about what's happening over there, I, I'd like you to touch on what do you see are some of the biggest challenges for the apostolic church in your region? So that's Great Britain, Ireland, even Europe, because we, we see that, um, you know, you shared that if it, it feels like there's a revival sweeping across and, and that's amazing to hear because there's been such a struggle for so many decades to establish works in Europe, like longstanding works that could be tradition and so on. But I think it'd be better hearing from someone who is actually that lives in the area that interacts throughout these countries. Uh, what do you think is the biggest challenges that you guys face? I think we are, I say we are, but I think um, it's a cold environment in terms of the atmosphere is very cold. Um, the churches are cold, not the apostolic ones. <laughs> but I mean, mm -hmm. it's just, the, um, you know, in England is a traditionally a Christian country, but it's just very cold. Everything about the, the word Christianity, just it just, you know, oozes coldness. It's just a cold. And it, it's so much so that the, the churches you see are, being closed down and because obviously they can't demolish them they're being re renovated into calf calves and dance places you know for acrobatics and stuff wow. like that so you think as a church as soon as you go in it's a rave you know it's like doo -doo 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 -doo, all of that is cr is crazy that's you know wild. and so I, I i feel and obviously that's that's just conditioning the people's hearts you know and they're getting accustomed to that oh Churches is, 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 may look like a church on the outside, inside, it's totally different use. So I, I, I feel our challenge is, is just the hearts of men, as you know, the Bible says it, are just wax cold, man. It's just, and in England is, um, we're very accommodating for every other faith, every other faith. Mm. We just come, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, build this and that and the other. But, you know, is, and then it kind of, the voice that founded in a sense this country or the voice that was prominent back in those days is no longer that voice anymore it's really silent so in terms of witnessing and evangelism yeah there's restrictions everywhere now you know <laughs> every country has restrictions now on what you can and cannot do on the road you know and there's you know i even saw a video of uh, i think it was around wood green around this area or somewhere around quite close you know the police stopped a guy for you know proclaiming the name of jesus uh he was witnessing wow. had his little box there and just you know witnessing and yeah they stopped him and told him to turn it off and they actually put him in cuffs and he was saying why are you wow. stopping me why are you stopping me and then you know bystanders saying stop that stop we don't want to hear that we don't you know it's is man you know but that's why i said we need that wind of revival because mm. this is really, it is really becoming a cold country, but that's why we need that fire of the Holy ghost. And I believe we're at that point. We're at that point to light up the place, man, burn it bright. Mm. Yeah. Cause yeah, the baptism not happening for no reason. People being filled are not happening for no reason. It's happening at this right time, this ripe time. And I believe mm. it's for this time that we, you know, as even, you know, me over the young people of uh, Great Britain and Ireland, for us just to step up now, man, step it up a notch, take it higher, you know, and really just be intentional. I, I remember listening to Bishop um, Bernard's podcast and he was talking about being intentional, you know, um, mm. it, that's, that's a word that stuck with me, man, intentional. Everything that we do must be intentional. It must not yes. be just, you know, just so get up and do it let's see what happens no be intentional because people notice when you're being intentional you know they mm. really and it and there's value in when you when you're being intentional instead of it's just a spare of the moment thing when you intentionally call that person and say hey how are you doing you know they say oh why did you call no I, you, you were on my mind i just want to call you you know and it, yeah it, the uh, the coldness of society and, and the coldness of the day and age as you reference even uh, through social media where there's less and less interactions, that is a, a huge window for the apostolic church. It's a huge yeah. window because if you are that person that is intentional, if you are that person that is reaching out, that is going out of your way to connect with people, 
that speaks volumes now. You know, not everyone's doing you. that. Not everyone's no. calling people on their birthday. It's just a Facebook message, you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's, in <laughs> there's intention. If you get that, if you get that, you probably get, you get that, that, the belated yeah. ones. Yeah. Sorry, happy belated. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you get the uh, reminder on Facebook. You see? <laughs> well, I get, uh, mine are normally always on time because my actual birthday is a day after we celebrate it because I was born oh. in the States. And then we celebrate on the ninth here in Australia, but <laughs> technically I was born on the 10th in Australia. <laughs> wow, but wow. Um, yeah, I, getting back to intentionality, Sister Marshall mentioned that in our conversation that we had with her, she was talking about soul winning. Mm. And she was like, you know, if you're reaching out to, to people, you, you have to be intentional about it. You have to plan, think about your day. Who are you going to talk to? Especially, as you said, as the environment's getting colder, as these restrictions are put in place, you know, you can't just preach on the street corner anymore. You, you know, people aren't even open to that. And also the reason I wanted to ask this question is because our countries are quite similar when it comes to that mm -hmm. with, with, you know, you guys have the, the deeper, richer tradition. Obviously yeah. we've come from the UK uh, yeah. as part of the Commonwealth, but there is that traditional Christianity that is a huge roadblock because there is a, uh, an apathy. Um, mm. And I was talking to brother Trimble about that when I saw him in the States Australians are very apathetic when it comes to, and that's worse, yeah. I think. Uh, I think it's worse to be apathetic than antagonistic because wow. at least if you're antagonistic, you're um, you're accepting that there's something there, right? Yeah. But with apathy, yeah. it's just like, it's yeah, like, whatever, yeah. you do your thing. <laughs> but that's but this is this is what we're hearing a lot of nowadays. That's your truth. What's my truth? Mm -hmm. You know, this is my truth. Right. You know, everyone's got their own truth now. What what's going on? <laughs> what's going mm. on? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and, and, and when everyone has their truth, uh, that gives us the opportunity to proclaim the truth and it sticks out even more, you know? Yeah. 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 But then yeah. It, 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 you know, they label it will with, oh, that's, but that's still your truth, you know? Oh, that's, mm -hmm. that, that's that old yeah. guy truth that wrote that Bible. How many years ago? It doesn't apply. It doesn't apply. But yet they're reading a book made by a science man that wrote those science thing and they rather, you know, listen to the man that made the science, you know, this and that, but they're not going to listen to this other book that was made by this, uh, an, a guy as well. You know, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I think, <sighs> uh, yeah, a brother, I think brother Bernard said something similar, uh, about, you know, when, when it comes to reaching people in, in today's society with, the uh, my truth, your truth sort of thing. Mm. Uh, sometimes that's gives you the opportunity to reach back into experience and then you can that's and that's why we stand out as well as apostolics yeah. pentecostals Amen. we offer an experience beyond just a book truth just a word truth there's an experience that goes along with it and you can't yeah. deny that can't deny that can't deny that